Are you going to have an arranged marriage? Do you wear your hijab in the shower? <laughs> Did you know where Asama was? <laughs> yeah, we got that one as well. <laughs> Do you want to join ISIS? I said, actually, no, I'm Muslim. And the first thing, he didn't even think about it. He said, oh, so you, like, you must support ISIS. Like, seriously, what people forget is that ISIS kill a lot of Muslims as well. Yeah. They'd kill us. Yeah. They just want to kill everyone. Look, they'd kill him. They'd so kill me. It's like when that Norwegian guy and his brother for whatever walked yeah. and like shot all those kids because he's a white supremacist. Like I don't go around asking white people. Yeah. Can, you, can you explain white supremacy to yeah. me? It's absurd. Do you not wish you could eat bacon? <laughs> Literally no. Do you get that as well? Do you get that? Oh, bacon, bacon, Be mate. All my non-Muslim friends, at one point or another, have tried to tempt me into eating bacon. And then he made a bacon sandwich. He's like, I'm just going to leave it there, and you see if you're going to have that. It does look nice. I don't know, like the crispy bacon, like sizzling and they shot on telly, I'm like, mm. yeah. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> really lovely. Are you going to have to marry your cousin? <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's like, if I had good looking cousins, then like, still no. I think it comes from traditionally, like from South Asian cultures and families. Ah, no, so, don't look but... at me, I don't know. I don't know what to ask me for. Do you think that happens a lot, that people get in culture mixed up with religion? Because they might have only met a certain kind of Muslim, so they assume that it's religion when it's just culture. All the time. I think they get conf I think they think it's all one race. I don't even know how to answer that question, because that question is just so stupid. How many times it's, do people ask us this question? Like... People wear what they want to wear, and people should yeah. reveal their bodies. They want to reveal their body, and that yeah. doesn't mean you're any less equal or more equal. People wouldn't ask a woman, you know, in a bikini on a beach, do you think that the way that you dress, like, makes you unequal? Yeah. Like, nuns. Nuns cover up, and I don't feel like anybody questions their motives behind it. It's to get close to God, and that's what they wear. That's sort of, like, the habit is, like, their uniform and their sign of their devotion to God. But if a Muslim woman's wearing it, it's because you're oppressed, you obviously, yeah. you know, you're being forced to wear it. It's always how we look, it's always the veil when it's like there's so much more going on, there's so mm. much more to Muslim women than just that. And like that's quite sexist to me. I'm gonna do this in the right voice, appropriate to the question. Do you want Sharia law in the UK? No. <laughs> creeping Sharia. Yeah. Can you explain creeping Sharia, please? I don't know what creeping Sharia is. It's like when Sharia law comes in creeps in into the middle of society, becomes law without the British people knowing, and are subjugated to second-class citizens, and we become their masters, basically. I think the Sharia laws that are to do with chopping hands off and beheading and stuff like that, they're called hood laws, and they make up, I think, five laws out of, I don't know, however many, but it's a small percentage of the laws, and they're quite extreme, I get that, but I think the UK has laws that are quite close to Sharia law, like the welfare state, that's, uh, that's in Sharia law, like kind of yeah. benefits, that sort of thing. Am I allowed to pray in this country? Can I live my life as a Muslim? For me, that's Sharia. If I could be a Muslim in this country, I could, that's my Sharia. Seeing the worst type of drunk people falling over and stuff in the street and hearing the worst sorts mm. of things, that's kind of what we see. I it's think. not a good advert, is it? I don't really want to do that. Somebody dies, you drink. Somebody, you know, does something good, you drink. Something bad happens, you go to the pub. It's such a massive part of British culture, drinking, going to the pub, and after work drinks. I think, I think a lot of people do feel like they're missing out by not being a part of that. There's the assumption that Muslims don't drink, and anyone who's been to a nightclub at Eid will know. <laughs> yeah. We all. Are you proud to be British? Yeah, of course I am. He's Welsh. I am proud to be British in the sense that I am British. I've been, I've, you know, we, we've both grown up here. Like, this is our culture and our society. So you're patriotic about not being patriotic? Well, yeah, I mean, I, don't, I, I like being British, but I'm not that bothered. That is, does actually sound like quite a British thing to say. A white British person could, like, criticise whatever they want and everyone will be like, oh, you know, that's just a typical British thing, like, you know, everyone's so cynical and... Mm. Criticises everything. Yeah, yeah. But when it's us, it's like, oh, it's they... It's as a, a sort of attack if it's yeah. coming from us, I but it's like, how can Even we Even though attack? we're just as British. We do not realise how good we've got it. Other parts of Europe, it's a lot tougher. Back home, bro, back home, you know, we wouldn't... This programme wouldn't exist in, in Egypt. Guaranteed, this programme would not exist in Egypt. So, we're spoiled. The weather's bad though. You, should, you shouldn't give them. <laughs> don't give them too much. Don't be like, thanks for letting us be here. I think if we can sort the weather out, I think we will we'll, we'll buy into this Britain thing. Just sort yeah. the weather out.